Barely able to walk alone in a life she shared with her daughter, the pain of a mother losing a child, as Sarah and Boy Kabiru's final journey began. This all too telling of the gap that Kabiru left in the lives of the people close to her when her life was unexpectedly cut short. And so today during her send-off, friends and family reflected on her death, one which elicited painful memories amid calls for the restoration and sanctity in the institution of marriage. It is with great sorrow and sadness that I stand here this morning to say goodbye to a great daughter a great mother, a great friend, a great colleague. I pray that no woman ever goes through what Wamboyi went through. If you are in a violent end or abusive relationship, walk out and save your life. Negotiate from outside at your safety. God has a better deal for you. Strong, loving and caring, this was just some of the words that were used to describe Kabiru, robbed of her march towards her destiny and a life of great fulfillment. Her body being transported to its final resting place, reflective of the load that her family now has to carry, her two and a half year old son left to live life without the warm embrace of a mother's love. On Sunday, the 1st of May, one boy Kabiru was found murdered at her house in the bedroom, which was locked from outside. Sources say that her lover, Moses Otieno Dola, had left the house on that Sunday morning and locked the bedroom, leaving the two-year-old son with the house help. Her husband has since been arraigned in court, where he is expected to face murder charges. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. She will be remembered for her impeccable job as a features writer at NTV, one that cast her into the spotlight. She died at 27 years of age. Moses Dola is due back in court on the 16th of May. Maureen Moremi, Citizen Weekend.